Uh, don't mind my pile of wood. Uh, I'm going on a camping trip to Georgia on Sunday, and it's been raining enough to float Noah's Ark, and so I had to put the kindling inside the cab for now. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I finally got all the kinks worked out on my Bluetooth. Um, a few weeks ago, I converted my 66 radio to Bluetooth. Um, it still plays regular AM radio. There's Bluetooth, hands-free calling. It's uh, Bluetooth 4.0. You can pair two devices. You get directions over your speaker. I mean, it's it's pretty sweet. This is the module. I'm going to end up hiding it just here for easy access. It huh, ironically happens to be magnetic, which works out. But um, I had everything playing really nice, but I had one problem, which is I had to have it on a separate power source, the Bluetooth module, because the um, there's two grounds in an audio system. You got the main ground, and you got like the ground in the audio signal, and you don't want to mix them. And I was getting mixed grounds by powering the Bluetooth module with the uh, truck's battery. It was getting mixed up with the audio signal inside the radio. And so for a few weeks I drove around with the separate battery, just, you know, so I could listen to my music. But I finally got it to where the battery separated. It's no longer connected. It's actually, you can see the little power wire going down there. It's off the truck's battery now. And uh, check this out. But yeah, I uh, finally got everything worked out. I'm going to do a neat little switch. I'm going to end up hiding this, like, down there, um, where it's going to be hard to see. But, yeah, it's finally functional. And like once I get it all finished, I'll uh, go into full detail exactly what I did and how I did it. But, yeah.